let's keep learning about uh, generics. Uh, so let's uh, let's just start out uh, with one more example so we can uh, get used to uh, to how to use them. And um, we are going to make a uh, struct and we'll call it an animal. And uh, we'll say animals have a, uh, a name and an age. And then uh, we want to print out our animal. So we will give it uh, debug and then we can print out with, uh, with this. And then um, let's see. <clears throat> And then we're going to use some uh, make a make a generic function. So let's uh, let's import uh, debug. Let's find the path there. So there it is, standard format debug. And we will uh, pull this in, so we can just write debug later on. So we'll say uh, use standard format debug. And now we are ready to write a, a generic function. So we will call it print item, and uh, we will give it a. Uh, let's see. We'll put our generic type in here, and uh, no t debug. Let's call it. Uh, let's give it a different name so I can stress that uh, you can call it anything. So I will call it my generic type debug, and then uh, so item will also be my generic type. And then what it will do, so we have guaranteed to Rust that this will implement debug, so this will be able to uh, to print. So it will say, here is your item, like that, and then we will print the item. And then we'll go into main, and we will uh, we'll create an animal, we'll call it uh, Charlie. Uh, we don't know what kind of animal it is, but uh, its name is Charlie. And uh, age is one. There you go. So that is Charlie. Actually, you know what? Let's change this to a uh, string from just for fun. So you can see the other way of making a string. Uh, and then uh, and we'll also make a uh, make this number, and then we'll say print item uh, Charlie, and then we'll print item, and uh, we'll say number. And this will work unless I made any typos. And there you go. So, uh, yep, number is uh, has debug, and it's a generic type. So here it is an I32, and here it is the type animal and we are fine because it implements debug. So that uh, we know so far. And uh, now let's uh, let's give some, let's give two types or two, um, two traits, I mean. So remember debug is, uh, is a trait, so which means it's a power. So uh, let's, uh, you know, maybe in a function we need more than one trait because we're doing more than just printing. So let's, uh, Let's say our function is going to need uh, display. So, uh, of course, you can always find it up here in the documentation, standard format display. So we will import that, and then we will also use uh, CMP partial board. And this is used to compare, uh, like, greater than, less than, and you can see it right there, standard CMP uh, partial ORD. So that's when you're doing less than. So this is the power of being able to compare one thing to another. So we are going to uh, make a function called compare and display. And first, I'm going to show you the uh, the version with uh, more typing. And this will be this will be kind of uh, a little bit difficult to read, but here's how it works. So we are going to give it um, two types. Uh, so we're going to say uh, it'll have a, a type T and a type U. And so this could be, you know, this could be a string. This could be, uh, you know, it could be anything. And by, it could also be two of the same types. So it could be an I32 and an I32 or whatever. <clears throat> and then we'll say, okay, T, we, uh, we want this to of display and then you we want this to have display 
but uh, also we should be able to compare it. So partial board. So now, uh, now it is ready to take in these two types, and then um, then I'll take out and then I'll uh, we'll put in the two variables. So we'll say statement this variable name. This will be a t. So this will be the thing that we can only display but can't uh, can't compare. And then the next thing we want is um, let's put some numbers in there. So number one, this will be type u. And then number two is also type u. And it will return nothing. So you can see uh, um, that means we could, you know, we could give it the, uh, the animal type we made for a uh, for statement. And, uh, and these numbers here, well, anything that, uh, that implements partial ord and display will be fine. So our function will do this. We'll say print line, and then we'll say, uh, and then is something, whoops, something greater than something, and then something. And what are we going to put over here? Well, we're going to have a statement. So this will be just like a, uh, maybe a string or something. And then uh, num1, and then num2, and then num1 is greater than num2. So this will take, uh, so it'll print this and say something, and then it'll say like, if it's a number is, you know, five greater than four. And then it will check, and then it will print uh, true or false. So now let's go to uh, go to main and say let's uh, compare and display. And so we need we need a type T, a type U, and a type U. So first we'll write this nap. Does this display? Yes. So this will be fine. <clears throat> then uh, then we need a something that displays and partial ord that can compare. So we'll put a nine in. Will that work? Yes, that will work because they have all of these uh, all of these traits. And you can see it if you really need to check is you go to the documentation and look for the uh, you look for the traits. So if you have like an i32, do you have partial ord? And there it is, partial ord right there. And does it have display, debug? It has debug. It has display. So you can make sure that uh, that it has all of these uh, all of these powers. And then let's uh, let's run it. And let's see, num one. I spelled that wrong. Let's try again. So it works. So listen up. Is nine greater than eight? True. And that means that we can uh, we can change it to a string, and that'll be fine too. Uh, 